Hey guys, thanks for checking this out. I wanted to talk about the mag mod for the flash and the mag bean kit, which I got in the wildlife kit. And let me start off by saying I have never really been a big flash user with my wildlife, my bird photography. Um, I've seen plenty of people do it and they do an amazing job with it, but it's just never been my particular style or taste. So I was anxious to try this. And one of the things I've been doing a little bit more recently playing with is off camera flash with wildlife photography. But I also wanted to try it with the flash on camera like this to see how it works. And I have been a long time MagMod user from way back in the day when they first started when I was a wedding photographer. So I had experience with them and I knew the name, I knew the brand, I knew they made a great product. So I was excited to try this out. And as always, right, just, I mean, absolute ease of use, getting it on there. Uh, and then this, uh, the extension on the MagBeam kit here is pretty impressive. I gotta say the one thing that shocked me the most is in shooting in just like you see right now, full sun, uh, bright sun. I, I did some shots of birds in the middle of the day. Um, I, let the, I let the camera go into high speed sync and just let this fill. I never expected just with the, the batteries in the flash here, uh, uh, this is a Nikon SB900 and uh, the Z6 II with a 300 f4 and 1.4 teleconverter in it. So 420 millimeter, I was out uh, playing around with this. And I gotta say, I never expected the flash to really give me that much of a difference. I was thoroughly amazed. Um, it gave me way more power at way more distance than I ever expected, actually. Uh, I'm used to shooting flash bare uh, or even with some soft diffusion for, from my portrait photography days. And I really haven't played with flash. Uh, with my wildlife, like I said. So impressive to say the least. Um, I'll, I'll show some photos that I took with it. Um, I think you can kind of tell they're flashed, you know, that to me is one of the reasons that I don't particularly love it for my style of bird photography, but I can totally see it's used because in lighting like this, you're not getting good photos. At least I'm not. I, I struggle to get good bird photos in light like this. So a setup like this allows me to actually continue to shoot in light like this, to extend my shooting period and actually get some usable results. And then even more impressive was when I started playing with it off camera. When I got this flash off the camera on a remote, set the trigger system up and was firing it off camera, getting some direction, some backlit stuff. Having this being able to give you different sizes of a spotlight you know, a uh, real tight beam or a medium or a little bit larger, but still concentrating that light uh, using the, the Fresnel on the front here and definitely giving you more concentrated power. Again, thoroughly impressed. Also absolutely love that uh, my kit didn't come with any gels, but I still had some magma gels from, uh, honestly, these are probably five years, four or five years old, something like that. Uh, so the same gels just went right in uh, so I can actually warm the color of this light a little bit or change it in any way I want. Uh, so that was really nice that the same stuff I had from the original kit still works with this new piece of gear that I got right here. So uh, it doesn't get any easier, pops right on, pops right off when you don't want to use it. Absolutely love it. The extension, super easy, compresses down, back down to, to pack small so you can travel with it really nice and easy as well. So um, real durable, you know, I mean, I can see uh, with my previous Magmod stuff, listen, I am a working photographer. I don't, I don't purposefully beat up my gear, but I also don't baby it, I use it. I use my gear, both my cameras, my lenses, everything. Um, and so this has that same durability that I know it can take my use uh, out in the field. So uh, I'm gonna show you some photos and describe a little bit more about what went into those shots. And um, yeah, I gotta say, highly recommended. Uh, if you do use flash, especially for flash fill with your bird photography, 
uh, amazing kit. You know, it just works great. Gives you some versatility versus some of the other products I've seen. Not that I've ever used them, but I've seen them, you know, um, and made me a little bit of a convert, you know, in light like this, if I need to be out shooting or want to be out shooting and continue, uh, this is going to be a product that can allow me to do that, you know, whereas before in light like this, when it was full sun, I'd be packing it up and heading in for the day. So, uh, anyway, certainly worth checking it out. Thanks for watching the review. Hope you enjoyed this and got something out of it. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, so here you can see it's got that flashed look, but it was full sun. You can see the uh, the stuff next to the bird right in front of it there is lit up in sun. And if this was not using a flash, it would be completely dark. So uh, negative one and a third stops exposure compensation uh, on the flash, which actually just didn't overpower it. Uh, same thing here, negative one stop on this one. Uh, but again, you know, bright spots of sun hitting certain areas. The bird was in the shadow and didn't have direct sun on it. And that flash illuminated that bird, allowed me to see it clearly as well as the perch and all of that. So uh, not a shot that would look even remotely the same without that mag beam flash. In this example, the black and white warbler was out in the full sun. The sun was overhead and behind it. And so I would have had really basically no detail on my side of the subject and the flash even at two and a third stops negative exposure compensation uh, filled in quite nicely gave me some light on that bird and some light in the eye same thing here he kind of ducked under this pine tree and was in complete shade background full sun so if I had exposed for the bird without the flash then the background would have been overexposed and if I exposed for the background, the bird would have been silhouetted. So uh, able to make a nice mix with that mag beam on that one. Here's where I got the flash off camera. And in this case, you can see just a nice spotlight on the prothonotary warbler there. Um, I don't remember what power I had the flash set at. I just had it set for what I needed when I kind of dialed in the whole setup before the bird was even there. And yeah, just having that nice little spotlight there, concentrated the power, really made it work nicely and allowed me to shoot a wide angle in full sun, which was really a lot of fun.